Today is the 20th anniversary of one of the most iconic animated films of all time that is near and dear to my heart. But the question is, does Shrek hold up 20 years later? Let's hop on over to the review. Welcome back film fans, this is Let's Be Real Brad. Today we will be covering the 2001 DreamWorks animated comedy film called Shrek. Shrek is a film that I grew up watching all the time as a kid. It became quickly one of my favorite franchises growing up and being excited for each new installment to come out. Last night was the first time I had watched the original with my adult movie reviewing eyes on the beautiful 4k upgrade that was released last week. But to answer the question of this video, the answer is yes and no. So let's get right into the positives as to why Shrek does hold up all these years later. We are going to start with the voice casting. This movie created the iconic performances of Mike Myers, Cameron Diaz, Eddie Murphy, and John Lithgow all being so excellent and top notch in this movie. They truly embodied these roles as they became the characters. These four actors voices are so recognizable that you would think this movie would be so distracting all these years later, but it doesn't at all. Eddie Murphy is simply donkey. There is no debate about it. He provides this beautiful charm and offers hilarious delivery to every single joke of the film. On paper, this character should have been so unbearable to listen to, but Eddie Murphy somehow adds this genuine charm and love to the role, even with the annoying character he has to play. After replacing Chris Farley due to his death in production, Mike Myers stepped up to the role with having the whole script replaced to adding his own charm and likability to the role and providing that iconic Scottish accent that he pulled off so effortlessly. Cameron Diaz is also impressive in becoming the iconic Princess Fiona while also being an awesome and big star herself. As the iconic Lord Farquaad having one of the most iconic laughs in cinema history, John Lithgow makes me laugh every single time I listen to his voice. The next positive is the writing. It might be one of the best screenplays in animated history because the whole film feels so seamless in its storytelling. I could recite the whole movie because it is so easy to follow and digestible to understand. I love it so much because the film is filled with adult humor that shocked me quite a bit while watching this for the first time as an adult. As much as this movie is so damn hilarious, this movie decides to throw in some genuinely emotional moments that I didn't remember how great they were. One of my favorite scenes of the film is when Shrek and Donkey talk outside at night with the big giant moon in the background. These emotional moments provide such a great message for everyone watching the movie that looks aren't always what they seem. The film shows how we automatically judge people based on what they look like, how they dress, their social status, and the way that they speak. This movie has fantastic twists along the way that goes along with the idea of not everything being as it seems by changing the iconic fairy tale stories we all know and love and making it something different. Without going any further, we have to talk about the iconic soundtrack. My goodness gracious, it is easily one of my favorite movie soundtracks of all time. I would even argue it is a top 10 best soundtrack of all time. Every song choice is iconic to this movie and fitting in so damn perfectly. It features the iconic and fantastic song by Smash Mouth called All Star, which I had the pleasure of singing in unity at an Anthony Fantano live show in 2019. Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid, and all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. Smash Mouth does another memorable cover of I'm a Believer by the Monkees. The song itself fits perfectly into the film as well as the other iconic songs too. The Shrek 2 soundtrack might have a slight edge, but I think they're both masterpieces. The direction from Andrew Adamson and Vicky Jensen is also terrific. They were able to create fantastic shots of the film that have been itched into my brain forever. They added so much style, creativity, and energy to make this movie never feel tedious. The best use of shot selection and directing is in the castle scene, which is a perfect 10 out of 10. 
these directors knew precisely where to take the characters and made them some of the most lovable in cinema history while also making this movie for everyone to watch. The last section I want to talk about, which I have been saving for last, is the animation. The animation is very good, but when you compare this to Monsters, Inc. that released in the same year, or Toy Story 2 that was released two years prior, you do see the difference in quality. Those films had a significantly higher budget and were able to add more detail to the animation. I know watching this movie on 4K will make the animation look more outdated, but you do see many of the flaws within it that I will admit were a bit distracting to watch. I only have one minor negative with this film, which is in the second half of the movie. There is a specific section that I think goes a little too long, especially during the night. It's still a pretty good scene, but it does drag the movie down just a little bit. But it is always a section that I always found kind of boring and went a little too long since I was a kid. There are other small, tiny nitpicks I have along with it that would add up to taking one point off this movie. Overall, Shrek is easily one of my favorite movies ever because it is so memorable. The rewatch value is so high because of the beauty beautiful writing, humor, satire, and parody of Disney films, and having such a great message that speaks volumes and will always feel so relevant as the years go along. I am giving Shrek a 9 out of 10. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the following review.